Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss another important application of Lagrange's mean value theorem and in this uh, session we are going to discuss a very important inequality in uh, real analysis right and here uh, we have to uh, show that e raised to x minus 1 divided by x is greater than 1 but less than e raised to x for all x uh, greater than 0 uh, where x belongs to the set of real numbers so we'll uh, show uh, or we'll prove this inequality uh, using uh, the concept of Lagrange's mean value theorem so before proving this inequality, let us quickly revise the statement of Lagrange's mean value theorem. Now uh, the Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, says that if we have a function say y is equal to f of x uh, which is uh, defined in some domain and the domain is given by this interval uh, that is a comma b and if this function f of x is continuous uh, in the interval uh, that is uh, the closed interval a comma b and this function is also uh, derivable or uh, differentiable in the uh, in open interval a comma b then uh, Lagrange's theorem says that uh, there exists a point c uh, which lies between a and b uh, such that uh, the derivative of this function at this point that is f prime of c is equal to uh, this quotient that is f of b minus f of a uh, divided by uh, b minus a. So this is the uh, statement of Lagrange's mean value theorem. So we have a function y is equal to f of x which is defined in some domain. Uh, a comma b this function f of x is continuous in the closed interval a comma b and this function has a finite derivative or this function is derivable in the open interval a comma b then there must exist a point c uh, between a and b such that the derivative that is f prime of uh, c the derivative of f of x at this point uh, c is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. So now the first step in proving uh, this inequality is to uh, construct or uh, frame an appropriate uh, function. So let us take here uh, the function y is equal to uh, f of x which is x minus e raised to x and uh, here I uh, will take the interval uh, that is 0 comma x where x is greater than 0. So now our function f of x is x minus e raised to x and the interval a comma b is 0 comma x where uh, a is uh, 0 and b is x right. Now see this x is a polynomial function right. This is a polynomial function and e raised to x is our exponential uh, function. So uh, now uh, let us first see uh, these two conditions of uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem. Now see this is the difference of uh, two continuous functions because polynomial function is a continuous function for all values of x belonging to the set of real numbers and exponential function is also uh, a continuous function for all values of x belonging to the set of real numbers right so this is the difference of uh, two continuous function and the difference and the sum of two uh, continuous functions is again a continuous function right so here uh, this function f of x is continuous in the uh, interval that is a comma b so here we have the interval uh, 0 comma x because x is polynomial function this is continuous uh, e raised to x is exponential function and this is also continuous and this is the difference of uh, two continuous functions so f of x is also a continuous function now uh, similarly we can uh, prove the differentiability of this function f of x 
now the polynomial function x is differentiable for uh, all values of x belonging to r and e raised to x is also a, a differentiable function for all values of x belonging to r right so this function f of x is also uh, differentiable or derivable in the interval uh, 0 comma x right so our function f of x uh, is equal to x minus e raised to x is continuous and differentiable so f of x uh, satisfies these two uh, conditions of uh, lagrange's theorem hence there must exist a point uh, c uh, between uh, 0 and x that is 0 and x uh, such that uh, f prime of c is equal to uh, this expression right so we can now write f prime of c is equal to f of x because a is 0 and b is x and here we have f of 0 uh, divided by x minus 0 right so now uh, let us find out the uh, derivative of f of x so f prime of x is given by uh, d by dx of x minus e raised to x so the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x so here f prime of c can be obtained by replacing uh, x by c so here we have 1 minus e raised to c and f of x is x minus e raised to x and f of 0 can be obtained by replacing x by 0 so here we have 0 minus e raised to uh, 0 and in the denominator we have simply x so now we can write 1 minus e raised to c and we have x minus e raised to x uh, minus uh, here we have 0 minus 1 because e raised to uh, 0 is 1 so here we have uh, x so we can now write x minus e raised to x uh, plus 1 so this minus and this minus it becomes positive and here we have x now uh, we can uh, uh, transfer the quantities here so we can rewrite uh, this equation as e raised to c is equal to 1 minus x minus e raised to x plus 1 over x so we can now write x minus x minus uh, here we have positive e raised to x minus 1 over x so simplifying uh, this expression by multiplying uh, this 1 by x and here we have uh, minus x then plus e raised to x and minus 1 so this x and this x get cancelled and we are left with e raised to x minus 1 over x so now uh, we have this equation that is e raised to uh, c is equal to e raised to x minus 1 over x so now we have uh, this expression right okay now let us make use of uh, this inequality now this c it lies between a 0 and x now uh, what we will do uh, we will raise these three terms to the power of e right so we can write e raised to 0 and here we have e raised to c and here we have e raised to x now uh, the direction of the uh, inequality uh, remains the same when we raise these three terms to the power of e because the exponential function is an increasing function right for all values of x so now here uh, e raised to 0 is 1 and here we have e raised to c and here we have e raised to x so the purpose of raising these three terms to the power of e is to get e raised to c and here e raised to c is e raised to x minus 1 over x so here uh, taking e raised to uh, c as uh, this expression we can now write 1 and here we have e raised to x minus 1 over x and here we have e raised to x so this is our uh, required 
uh, inequality that is uh, e raised to x minus 1 over x it lies between 1 and e raised to x uh, for all x uh, greater than 0 uh, where x belongs to the set of real numbers. So viewers this is how by uh, the application of uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, we can prove this important uh, inequality.